Hello students, welcome back to Rosie Maths class. In this video, we are going to solve question number 1 and question number 2 of figure it out given on page number 19 and 20. The first question is, can you find the angles in the given pictures? Draw the rays forming any one of the angles and name the vertex of the angle. So there are four pictures given and you need to find out the angles in the given picture. That is the first part. The second part is draw the rays forming any one of the angles. So you need to draw the rays for any one of the angles and then you need to name the vertex of the angle. So we have to draw rays for one of the angles and we need to name the vertex of that angle. So for this you need to draw the four pictures in the notebook and if a teacher is allowing you then you can just do it in the textbook itself. Otherwise, you need to draw the pictures in the notebook and then you need to show the rays. So, let me show you how you can draw the pictures in the notebook. The first picture is of a cycle. For that, you take four points like this. One, little higher, two, three and same level, four. Okay. Then use a scale and draw lines. Draw double lines. Like this, you have to draw double lines. Next step, you draw a line like this here. Again, a double line. And then you can make a seat here like this. Now, parallel to this line, okay, you can just push the scale like this. Draw one more line. Just make sure it's on the same level, okay, here. And then you can just draw the handle here like this and then you just draw two circles here you can draw two circles like this draw the rim like this for here also you can do like that and this point here you can just draw one circle and the pedal here now this looks like a cycle label it as A this point is A B C and this one is D. Okay. A, B, C, D. This is your first figure. The second one is a design. Again, using a scale, you do it. I'm just doing freehand. Like this, it would be. And then you just join it here with a like a diagonal you draw. Now, here, what you do is from this point till this point, like this, you would draw and then here like this okay done and then you have to draw this just fill it up like this these lines are like this lines would be like this use a scale to do all this the next picture is of a ladder so you can draw like this first okay double line and here parallel to this there would be one more line Okay. So here we have 1, 2, 3 like this and here would have 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. And then you can just show a little here behind like this. So this is your third picture. And the fourth one is like a bridge. So that would be 1, 2, 3. Uh, or I'll take the dot here. Just we need three dots. Just forget this one. One, two, three dots at equal distance. Okay. And then you draw like this line. Now from here you have to draw triangles. One, two, three. Like this you would do. Then you would draw just one uh, lines here. This should be touching here. So line this. You have to draw the lines. So now this is your fourth figure. So I have just drawn the rough sketch of all this. You do it neatly in your notebook. So let us get started with the solution now. The first figure is of a bicycle. And the rays are already shown in the figure. Like here we have ray D A D B D C. Okay. So you can take any one angle here. Like if you take B, D, C. 
so we'll say in angle b d c the rays are d b and d c because d is the starting point so rays are d b put a arrow here on top like this showing the ray d b and d c the vertex is the common point so vertex is point d if you take angle a d b then the rays would be d a and d b and again the vertex would be d so you can take any angle of your choice the next one here also you can see many angles are formed this is one angle here this is one angle this is angle this is angle so any one angle you can choose here also you can see angles like this if you see many angles are there so let us choose one angle i'm using a sketch pen so that it is clear to you i'll draw the rays here so this is in this direction and this is in this direction okay so we are pointing out this angle here and let's say this is p o q so this point is p this point is o and this point is q p o q now in angle p o q rays we have o p o is the starting point and o q o p o q and the vertex is o vertex is o next one is a ladder so here we can see angle here here angle here here so you have two lines meeting it would form an angle here also you can see angles different angles are there so we'll choose one nice angle here let's say we say let's say we choose this one this is like this so i put an arrow here like this okay label it as a b and any point on this ray will be c a b c so in angle a b c the rays are b a and b c b a is one ray and b c is the second ray okay the vertex is the starting point so b is the vertex this is the last figure we have so find the angles first we have a an angle here 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 so many angles here here okay here also you can take this as one angle this as one angle so we will choose one angle from here let's say we take like this this is one ray and this one okay like this point e this is point o and one point on this ray which is f e o f in angle e o f the ray would be o e and o f so rays are o e o f and the vertex starting point is o so the vertex is o now we move on to question number 2 question number 2 draw and label an angle with arms st and sr so we need to draw an angle where the arms or the rays would be st and sr now see here the common point is s s s so you take a point s first we will draw ray st put a arrow like this showing that this is a ray and one point here so this is st now sr here we would write r so these are the two arms st sr and this is the angle formed and if you want to name it you can name it as angle t s r or angle r 
S T. The vertex S, the vertex S is always written as the middle letter. Okay, so it is angle T S R or angle R S T. Well, that's all for now. In the next video, we shall continue with question number three onwards.